Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 that is the latest version on Ubuntu 22.04. To install PostgreSQL we must have sudo privileges. Open Firefox or any browser then go to PostgreSQL.org It is the PostgreSQL official website. Click on this download or Click on download. Before that, see PostgreSQL 16 is released on 14th September. Click on either of these download links. Click on Linux. Then select Ubuntu. Whatever the commands of the links I have used in this video are available in the video description. See, it supports only on these versions see these are the scripts to be executed first copy this line which is going to add the repository paste it here provide the sudo user password and hit enter it is done now next we have to import the signing key copy it and paste here okay next we have to update the packages so sudo apt get update if you haven't updated the packages recently it may take time it's done skip control l to clear screen now install the postgresql server by running the command sudo apt get install hyphen y postgresql hyphen version then we have to install the contrib packages which contains like tools like extensions and others okay it is postgresql hyphen contrib hyphen 16 We have successfully installed PostgreSQL 16 on Ubuntu. Let's verify by running sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL and hit enter. See, we have the PostgreSQL service is running and it is active. Press Q to fit. Next, connect to the PostgreSQL server sudo su hyphen PostgreS. PSQL is the tool or utility to connect to PostgreSQL server. Let's verify the version of PostgreSQL server. See, I have installed PostgreSQL 16 on Ubuntu machine. Okay. Press Q to quit. The first step after installation of PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for the user Postgres. First verify list of the users. See, I have only one user that is the super user. For this, I am going to set the password. So, command is alter user postgres. This is the username with password. You can give the strong password, but I am giving the simple one. I have set the password. Suppose if you want to create a user, use the command create user, then username with password. Let's verify again. Du C. I have added one user, and before that, I have set the password for this user that is Postgres, which is the super user. Suppose if you don't want to allow this user to log in, just give alter user username no login, no login, and put semicolon at the end of the statement. Now verify slash du c user cannot log in so if you want to again user to log in just you have to remove this no login 
use the same alter statement alter user username login now verify see that flag or that role gone before current login is there now there is no role or attribute for this user now we are going to see how to create a database so that verify the list of the databases forward slash l is the meta command to check list of the databases see we have three databases comes with the installation of postgres equal 16 one is postgres template 0 and template 1 press q to quit create database and database name is i am giving r2 schools now verify again see new database is added successfully press q to quit Ctrl L to clear screen and suppose if you want to create a table in this new database so first we have to switch to that new database so command is slash c and new database name now we are in r2 schools also see here the message you are now connected to database r2 schools as user postgres okay now create a table in this database create table students S number int S name where care 30 slash dt to verify the list of the tables. See, we have one table that which we have created now. Now we will see how to find the config files and log and data directory locations. Suppose we want to find configuration file which contains all the PostgreSQL server configuration information. So config underscore file see this is the configuration file which contains server configuration information under configuration file is hba conf hba file which contains host based authentication information like type of the host database or users or ip ranges to allow to the connect to the PostgreSQL server also authentication method like md5 or password or anything okay see this is the file which is there in the same directory okay now we will see data directory location so data underscore directory see data directory is different than the configuration files directory okay in the same if you want to find the log directory again use the same log underscore directory see this is the directory which is there in this directory let us go to first this data directory and verify what are the things are there in this in that directory slash q to quit from psql cell then cd paste it ls c we have base directory which contains actual databases data on its objects okay and this is the file and pgen and pgen score wall contains right ahead logs information and pgen score version this file contains the version number more than pg underscore version see the installed version is 16 okay this is the pid of the postgresql server it is available until postgresql server is running once postgresql server is stopped this will be disappeared now go to this config file location copy this one cd and paste here ls c here we have pg underscore hba dot con file and postgres equal dot con file start con file config config directory now we will see how to stop start and restart the postgres equal server on ubuntu machine exit from this user then sudo systemctl status is the command to check the postgresql server status see it is active and started 10 minutes ago press q to quit now stop that one sudo systemctl stop postgresql it is typo we have stopped let's Verify system CTL status postgres sql see it is inactive or dead and it stopped 7 seconds ago press q to quit 
now again start it by using same system CTL just give this start flag hit enter it is started let's verify sudo system CTL status postgres sql see we have successfully started postgres sql server now if you want to restart postgres sql server just give sudo system CTL restart postgres sql it's done again verify see it started 9 seconds ago. the same start stop restart things can be done by using service also so first I will show you sudo service postgres sql then status see we got the same output as above also we can restart by using same service sudo service service postgres sql restart again if I see we have started or restarted 7 seconds ago ok press q to kit ps iphone ef 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 grep postgres grep see these are the list of the let me max me my terminal see these are the list of the processes running for postgres sql server on ubuntu machine also see here this is the config file location and this is the data directory and this is the bin directory of the postgres sql server instead of checking like show config or checking show data directory you can simply check the processes so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgres sql 16 on ubuntu 22.04 lds version 22.04 for more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.